Welcome to another edition of Green is Good. This is the Green Sports Alliance edition of Green is Good, and we're here in beautiful downtown Chicago. We've got Joe Corrala with us. He's the founder and the owner of the Green Bear Group. Welcome to Green is Good. It's a pleasure to be here. That's you know, also one of our taglines if you look in the back of my card. Wait a second. Green is good. Oh, green is good on the back of this card right here. I love that. Oh, well, <laughs> this is it. We sh you should be on our show more often. I think we're going to start making you a regular. So, Joe, before we get talking about the Green Bear Group, mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about Joe Corrala. What was your journey leading up to this before founding Green Bear Group? Were you a greenie from birth, or is this something that happened along the way? Uh, no, it was an epiphany. I turned 40. I had been in uh, marketing and uh, communications for 20 plus years and I woke up one day and I said, okay, this is great, but I'm next to the fire. I need to get in the fire. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, so um, I got a couple of colleagues. We founded Green Bear in 2009 and uh, shortly thereafter, I met Scott Jenkins from the Seattle Mariners. And that was it. And, and then, that was it. And you started working with the Mariners? We did. We started working with the Mariners. We helped them get together with BASF, the big sponsor. We helped them create Sustainable Saturdays, their fan engagement program. Wow. And very shortly afterwards, Scott reached out, put his hand on my shoulder and said, do you do any pro bono work? <laughs> so uh, naturally, we said, sure. We're, the four founders were all huge sports fans. Gotcha. We love this space. Right. And it's the right thing to do. So we said, sure. So we've been there with them. We helped them launch mm -hmm. back in March in 2011. That's the GSA. Yes. Gotcha. And um, we helped them with communication strategy, with PR, with video work, and now I'm an advisor to the board. Great. So now let's talk about Green Bear. Sure. So you're an entrepreneur and ecopreneur by founding Green Bear Group. So you have four partners? Yes. You're all in Northern California? Uh, no, no, no. We're no. virtual. I've got one in uh, North Hollywood. Sean's in North Hollywood, our creative director. Okay. Uh, I've got one in Sausalito, our clean tech director. Uh, myself in Redwood City and uh, another partner here in Chicago. And that's really how companies run now, right? They're yes. virtual. You don't have to all sit under one roof every day at if, a desk. As long as we're near high-speed internet, and an airport. The company's up and running. <laughs> right. That's great. Talk a little bit about the formation. Mm -hmm. You talked about your first client. Yep. Talk about the journey. Where are you now? Sure. Um, well, for us, it all comes down to three things. Connecting people, and then building relationships, and then helping them tell their stories. Wow. Okay, so that's how we approach everything is, who do we know, who do they need to work with, help them come together, make sure their values are aligned. We'll do facilitation to ideate around the strategic objectives of both organizations. Once they're in line, we help them come up with campaigns to work together and tell those stories to the public. So you founded this in 2009, Green Bear? Yes. And for our listeners and viewers out there to find Joe and his partners at Green Bear Group, go to www.greenbeargroup.com, www.greenbeargroup.com. Talk a little bit about the journey. Is the journey a straight line? Have you landed a lot? I mean, the the, the, the crash came in nine and 10. Right, right. I That's mean, when we started. <laughs> okay. well, Great time to start a new well, company. You know, sometimes the contrarians of this world, I mean. You know, right? the way I looked at it was, okay, I feel this in here. Yep. I got to act on it now. And yeah, sure, it might not be the best time to start a company, but on the other hand, it might be because you can only go up in That's the right. economy, right? Right. That's and so we were fortunate point. to meet up with the Mariners and help them get together with BSF. Did a lot of work with the Green Sports Alliance over the years. And now BSF has become a regular customer over the years. Now we're helping them with the New York Yankees. Wow. So talk about a journey going from small market team to the biggest brand in America, ostensibly. Maybe the world in terms of maybe, baseball? Certainly the world in terms of baseball. Not in top two or three, you know, maybe Manchester United, right. New York Yankees, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas, right. right. Those three brands. So, and, and what we're helping them do is they care, BSF cares a lot about sustainability, and they bring it together into sports in a variety of ways. So they want to help tell that story and help the sports teams and venues actually improve what they're doing. Improve wow. their zero waste, which is a big concern of theirs through a lot of their products that become into compostable bags. Improve compostable packaging. They have a, a prototype that we help them come out and advertise the, the uh, compostable peanut bag day in Seattle. So now, can't really divulge what's coming up with the Yankees this year, but it's a big deal. It'll be a huge contest. So if any of your viewers are in the New York area, tell them to please check out the Yankees site and keep when? their eyes when do, peeled. When do they, when do they uh, the check big out? launch will be July 17th. After July okay. 17th, check out the and Yankee site. It's going to be an, a contest. 
Instagram based. They'll be able to uh, win some cool prizes, and it'll be uh, for a couple months long. All created by the Green Bear Group and 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 BASF and the Yankees together with ML Bam, all all for around finding the most sustainable Yankees family. Wow. Okay. That's really so it's, cool. So it's really exciting. We're happy to be there. And does, does that Yankees family have to be in New York or it could be anywhere? No. It, it, it could be anywhere. Because it's online, They right? got fans around the world. They do. Wow. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your business enterprise. How has it grown over the years? Is it all sports-based or is it also now, is it, um, you know, way beyond sports? We started with the premise of we wanted to help mitigate climate change. Okay. And then... We landed in sports and we love sports, so we're continuing to grow that. You know, we've worked with a variety of teams and we're talking to many more right now. In addition, we realized in the last couple of years, you know, sustainability isn't just about the environment, though it is here. Right. Um, even in the Green Sports Alliance, the mission is now expanded broader beyond ecological, right. into social, into health and wellness, into the food. You've that's talked absolutely. to some of the folks about that here. So that's the vision. We have specializations in food, high tech, clean tech, and sports and sustainability. So your business is exploding. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Five years. Five years. The first two, slow growth. That's right. You know, but sort of a hockey stick. With the trend in, in sustainability mm -hmm. being, there's no going back. The genie's out of the bottle, obviously, yeah. as you say. Yeah. And that's led into better eating, cleaner eating, mm -hmm. vegetarianism, veganism, all are not, are all part of our lexicon now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many doors are open for you in terms of um, uh, getting good green messaging out there, getting sustainable messaging out there, and how do you go about finding business? Does business come to you now because you've grown such a great brand at Green Bear Group? Mostly yes now. Right. Okay, it's mostly referral now, but what we look at is we look at what's going on, like you said, trends in society. Yeah. Right now, one of the big things in food, in addition to organic, is the whole clean and sustainably sourced, but also local. Yep. To reduce the carbon footprint of having the thing transported. So we're working with a small company right in Silicon Valley that's a two-store farmer's market chain, and they deal direct farm to their products, so it's almost farm to table. Okay? Right, right. And so they had a struggle. They were losing, they didn't understand why they weren't making uh, profits, and they were threatened because one of their big uh, com uh, collaborators was Costco across the street. People tend to root shop. Right. They were closing for a year, so they were afraid no one was going to come to Sagona's anymore. Whoa. And we helped them for a year and a half, and now the lessons that we taught them, we sort of taught them how to fish and wow. helped them hire a person. So a year and a half later, their profits were up, and now they've even launched a food, fruit for thought program out to corporate so snacks, healthy snacks for corporate American Whoa, that's you know, awesome. offices. So it's, it's just, it's really and when, rewarding. And when someone hires Green Bear Group, you do everything soup to nuts. Advertising, social media, um, offline, me analog media, everything. Yeah, we start with the understanding what are their values and what are their business objectives. So we usually facilitate a planning session up front. Right. Then go into, okay, what are your business goals around this campaign? What do you want to accomplish in the next six months? Right. And then we'll go into defining some creative. Once they choose that, we'll help execute it or activate it. And so it's it could be, um, a, a, you know, it could be a brand new brand or it could be a, a eighty year old brand. You right. don't mind. You work with startups and you work with legacy brands. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because we tend to work a lot with very small companies like startups and local businesses and very large companies who wow. have a big at stake, something big at stake, and they want to move into sustainability and build that brand or build their awareness that they're already doing great sustainable work. It's just people don't necessarily know about it yet. Joe, we're down to a minute and a half. You, you're here at GSA again, fifth year. Okay. What were you doing here? Were you speaking at this event? Yeah. Um, on Monday, we had the, the very first ever um, UPS Global Leadership Council Thought Forum, Thought Leadership Forum, and I created the... Uh, the curriculum for that and facilitated it was a three-hour workshop wow and the reason why that's important is because now the GSA for the first time is bringing corporate members in and through this global leadership council so now we can help them more directly influence the supply chain to the sports industry to green that up and what better way to do that than having them under the tent as Alan it. said today we're all one team 
We're one team. Yeah. That's really true. And did you do any, and that was your, did you do any other speaking here? That was your no, big No, that was the big that one. That was the big one. Three hours on That's, that, yeah. Uh, where's next year's event? Have, has that been announced yet or it's, not yet? It, we thought planning? it was going to be announced, but we yeah. had a, okay. a hold off for a Got little it. bit. But this is the biggest and best summit ever. Yes. Final thoughts to you. Okay. Final thoughts are, it is an important problem. It is an urgent situation. And same time, it's all about sports here, right? Right. The cultural influence and power of sports. But you don't work sports. You play sports. It's true. So the way we look at it is we have to take our work seriously, but don't take ourselves too seriously. If you play with it and you get better ideas through creative playing, you'll reach more people. You'll touch them in their heart. And that's the way we like to do it. So that at the end of the day, we're doing good and we're having fun while we're doing it. Do good, have fun, change the world. There you go. I love it. Can, Joe, I, can I use that? You can we'll use that. We'll put that on our next bit. Business that, I love it. <laughs> Joe, Joe Corolla, he's the owner, the founder, and one of the four partners of the Green Bear Group to find Joe and hire his group to help get the word out there on your company or organization. Go to www.greenbeargroup.com. And his tagline is green is good. So, man, we are so happy we had Joe on with us today. To find the Green Sports Alliance, go to www.greensportsalliance.org. Greensportsalliance.org. Joe Corrala, you are making the world a better place and are truly living proof that green is good. Thank you so much for your time today. It's my pleasure. It's an Thank honor you. to be with you. Thank you.